Well, hello, hello everyone, and uh, I would like to first off wish you a happy Christmas if you're in the Commonwealth, and a Merry Christmas if you're in other English-speaking countries. Um, I hope you had a great Christmas. I certainly did. I had a nice time with my family. So, um, as you can see, I have a lot of coffee supplies here. Like, I got a ton of coffee stuff. So, I am just going to get going right away with some shameless plugs right here. And uh, I've got a lot of shameless plugs today. So, <laughs> yeah. Just lock, get ready. The first one is, okay, let me move all this stuff out of the way. Check this out. This is like the second shirt that I made, my second t-shirt, if you can see it. Look at that, no coffee, no worky. <laughs> I'm wearing it right now. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy about it, but you can buy that in my store, Coffee Cheers merch, and I will put a link below that, uh, below this video is what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, so I'll send a link for that. If you like the shirt and you wanna get it, uh, I'm really excited about it. I can change things around. I might make it a little bit smaller with the design, but anyway, this is basically it. So if you like that, feel free to take a look at the link. And also, um, I have uh, this Lavazza Espresso Italiano right here. I just got this for a Christmas gift. I haven't even tried it yet, but that's what I'm gonna try today. So it smells amazing. Like I have it open right here. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> here, smell it. Yeah, smells great. I'll let you know how it goes after I uh, after I brew <laughs> after I brew the coffee. And what else do I have? This right here is Stroop waffles. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Stroop waffles. That's pretty good stuff right there. Those are from the Netherlands, and uh, I, I've had them a lot in Europe. They're delicious. Someone just gave this to me today as like a late Christmas present. Thank you. Thank you, kind soul. And, uh, okay, lastly, for my shameless or not so shameless plugs, this right here, I had to use this for the espresso roast. I can't use the blade grinder, my automatic blade grinder, which I don't like that either. I'm still in the market for another coffee grinder, but I can't stand this coffee grinder. This is the Java Press brand. Oh, I am, I'm sorry to you, Java Press. I'm sorry. It's a very popular um, hand mill coffee grinder on Amazon. I've reviewed this on myhomebrewedcoffee.com on my site. I did a blog about this. This thing is pretty terrible. <laughs> I guess I can say it's terrible. I just don't like it. It's really popular, so there's some nice things about it. It's, it's not terrible, but it's not good though. I, I just, I do not like this thing. And let me tell you something. I don't wanna spend, I don't wanna spend like 20 minutes talking about all this stuff, but this brand Java Press, check this out, please. Hear me out. You, you can purchase this, this brand, look, look, there's a glare. There it is, Java Press. You can purchase that brand and this exact one on Amazon for like 45 bucks. Did you hear me? 45 bucks. And on my site, <laughs> you can get the exact same coffee grinder with, um, uh, without a brand name. You can get the exact same coffee grinder, just like Java Press does it for half the price, for $20. If you want one of these hand mill coffee grinders exactly like this, the same design and everything, then <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Don't get this Java Press one for 45 bucks and they offer you free coffee and they make it super hard for you to get it. Read my review on it, but anyway. <laughs> Save yourself 20 bucks or whatever if you want one of these and just go to my shop and get one. You know, shameless plug right there, but <laughs> if I'm honest with you, there's just better hand mill coffee grinders out there. So uh, this isn't even my, this wouldn't even be my top recommendation from my store, but I, I sell them there. So that if you want this kind, you can save money. All right, now I'm done with that. Okay, I'm putting that away now. And uh, yeah, so the last thing. All right, this is what this video is all about, friends. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Is I have this right here. Now there's like, there's like, one, two, three, four, five. So there's like five pieces to this thing. This is a portable, um, hand espresso maker and uh, this is my first brew with it 
I also have um, my uh, my lovely kettle here, my gooseneck kettle. Look at that, it's got a cork handle. Mm. <laughs> ah! I got my gooseneck kettle and it has hot water in it, so if I touch this right here, it's actually uh, very hot to the touch, but it's getting colder, so I better make this quick. But I'm using this for the first time, so I figured I would take you with me for the first time, and I will honestly review it. My own coffee maker, because I sell these on my site as well. If you're interested in any of these things, uh, I don't have a link for these. <laughs> it's all below the video. Yeah, I'm gonna put all that stuff in there. But, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna take you with me the first time I use this crazy contraption. I have the directions right here as well. Um, conveniently, they are in Chinese and English. I'll read the English one because I'm not so good with my uh, Mandarin Chinese. Here we go. Clean the machine. Check. Already done. Add hot water to the bottom. Here we go. This is the bottom. This is like the cup or whatever. Oh. Adding hot water to the cup. Can you see the steam coming out? All right. Uh, it doesn't say how much hot water to add, but I have added hot water anyway. Assemble the water container. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Like, right now, it doesn't tell me where to put it exactly, but I think it's... Yeah, gotta be this side. This is the side that, with, with, the, with the red ring that you're gonna be putting over the uh, water, over the cup. So put it together like that. I can screw it on. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. I did it all right. Okay, there we go. I put it on nice and tight. I figure you probably want the, the thing on pretty, <laughs> pretty tight. Add coffee powder to the bin. This is going to be the bin right here. So. Here we go, taking the coffee. The coffee is in this bottom part. So check this out, pour the coffee onto the table. Uh, you can't see it, but I have indeed poured the coffee onto the table, which is not what I suggest you do. Um, but it's there, I'm scooping it up, pouring it into here. Need more, need more coffee, need more coffee. Well. We'll call that good and enough coffee right there. You can probably see I've got it uh, up to the top. Now I have pressed it down a little bit. So I'm gonna put in more coffee. <laughs> I put in a little more. There's still, no, there's still, yeah, <laughs> watch this. <laughs> All right, that's enough coffee. Uh, so add the coffee powder to the bin, assemble the machine. Oh, no, 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 wait. You've got to put this plastic, this piece on top of here in the espresso thing. And you have to, you have to put this on here. Yep. Okay, I've had some technical difficulties here. But I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. Ooh. This goes like this on top of here. You know what? Maybe I'll make a detailed video. I'll probably make instructions for it in a blog post or something like that. All right, so now I've got this right here. This is the last part. <laughs> All right, so I put this in on top of there like, like so. Now, here's the cool part, apparently. So check this out. We have this little lever thing right here and Here's, you have to open that, turn it over, and then press. I'm ready. Ah, I almost dropped it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh man, wow, it's dripping out. That's not good. I must be doing something wrong because it's dripping out on my table. Put too much water in there, I guess. Okay, this is like totally making a mess on my table. Okay, it smells really good though, so that's good. 
I better wash my hands. Okay, I cleaned up the mess a little bit, so I think this thing is ready. I'm afraid to open this though. Anyway, I'm gonna get my cup right here. I'm gonna get this like ready. The cup's ready. All right, now this Lavazza espresso smells delicious. I can't wait to try this actually. Okay. Well, I have now taken it off. There was a little bit in there. All right, for the last part of this video, <laughs> I, I did not do this right. Did not do it right. So that's okay, it was my first time. I really didn't read up on the directions enough because there's like five pieces to this thing, but I have a little bit of espresso in here. That's the good news. So here we go. With this little bit of espresso, I'm gonna do a taste test. I've smelled it. It smells great. It smells just fantastic. The taste is really good. That, that seriously, honestly tastes very good. It tastes quite close to an espresso you would get from um, insert your favorite coffee place here or Starbucks or whatever else. I should have made a video on the second time, but I thought it would be fun to do it the first time. <laughs> and yeah, it was pretty fun. Maybe I'll make another video and, and review it again and I'll do it like the right way and stuff. I should just show you my, my little mess here. Look at that. Like, I don't know if you can see. There's coffee, there's water all over the place. So, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's that. It was an amazing sip of espresso for what it's worth. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. And if you just so happen to buy one of these after I have maybe reviewed it a little more and shown you a little bit more of it, I hope you enjoy it as well. So, Happy New Year to you guys, happy holidays, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, and um, have a wonderful day, and uh, coffee cheer. Oh.